why we're organizing this particular workshop on entrepreneurial executive leadership is that over the years we've been hearing from our alumni who initially have started in government sphere working on public policy and the feedback uh, we've been getting is that um, public policy is not possible without a, a partnership with the private sector. So we are offering this particular workshop because we want to um, connect our alumni to the private sector and help them to understand what it means to be an entrepreneur, what it means to be running a business and what goes into creating a successful business and supporting uh, community development, economic development, creating workforce, etc. So this workshop is addressing a specific need coming from our alumni and we're bringing American expertise, American trainers to offer these best practices. people from all across a number of different countries, uh, being able to share their stories, their own personal business stories as entrepreneurs, um, looking at uh, entrepreneurial experience, entrepreneurial mindset, um, and elevating that really going through what does it take to be an entrepreneurial executive. The participants brought their own information and their own backgrounds, and we had the opportunity to, go, to walk through entrepreneurial mindsets. Um, what does it take to network and to build a business through networking? Uh, and really being collaborative, uh, building out ecosystems uh, for folks to not only build their own business, but also create community to uh, foster business development and entrepreneurial uh, activity all across uh, the region. I have really enjoyed being in Yerevan and meeting all the different entrepreneurs and all the different backgrounds that everyone brought to the table. Uh, it has been uh, an exciting time to hear from everyone, from their different perspective, about how they are doing business in their country or have it doing business with their NGO. So it's been very interesting to hear that different perspective from the different countries. The energy is uh, really great. Uh, when I uh, saw the list of the alumni uh, who would be with me uh, during this workshop, I was impressed because I was thinking what I am doing here because uh, they are so great. Uh, they uh, had so many um, actually list of success, uh, the CEO, founders, directors. So I was impressed and was waiting uh, to get uh, more experience from them. Uh, and this imposter syndrome we're, say, uh, we're talking about, uh, this fear was, but now uh, this energetic is so open and so cozy that uh, you can feel here as uh, on the same stage. Uh, networking is uh, very important really and it's a super important part of uh, such workshops because uh, we meet people from different uh, um, countries with different experiences and I believe that it provides a great opportunity for personal growth and for professional growth. Personally me, I, am, I have met people from um, different areas as a workshop, from universities, from startups, from entrepreneurship projects. Each of them has unique experience which I may take and to understand what to do with that and I may share my experience. So the content and the trainings that happen across the world, but luckily right here in Armenia, are really good for three reasons. I think the American perspective that our experts bring, the knowledge that is transferred through these, and the networking. So the American experts that American Councils is able to bring to the, the table, so to speak, is really important to bring that perspective as we look at a, a global uh, economy, a global context, and so that's the, I think that's the value add that American Councils brings to these types of conferences is our U.S. experts. Next, I think our, uh, these type of uh, conferences really value the, the content that we, we bring to the table. 
uh, American Councils does lots of research and we think about hard about what our alumni need. And so we can offer those types of things to our alumni that are needs-based, they're accurate, and they're, they're needed in the community, not just a, a one-off.